morning. It's a beautiful, cloudy, cool, misty day today. Hope you're staying hydrated. Before we get into the video, I want to mention something really quick. I do put all the locations of the places I visit in the description below. So if you'd like to come out and, and see where I'm at and take a walk for yourself, then it's down there below. You can look it up, visit it, and have your own good time. Today we're at Fitchy Creek Forest Preserve in Elgin, Illinois. The message today is consistency is the key to success. There's a lot of ways to be consistent in life. A few I'll mention are diet, exercise, relationships, personality, your job or career, and just the way that you're consistent through your thoughts and your actions. And that last part's important because consistency is accomplished through your thoughts and your actions. For example, diet and exercise. You eat better, you feel better, start losing weight, start getting into better habits, you get stronger, you feel more energized through your personality and your relationships, people will be able to expect that person out of you. And that expectation, of course, rolls over to your job or career and people will understand the type of person you are, your work ethic, and the way you do anything is the way you do everything. And your thoughts and actions really kind of dictate how consistent you are on a daily basis. And that will help you get results in life. So how do you build your level of consistency? Setting goals is a great way to focus your drive. It gives you power in the actions that you can control. And of course there's a lot in this world that's out of your control. But what you can make consistent is the expectations that you set for yourself. Challenge your friends and family to be consistent and keep each other on track. It's a lot easier to do things in a group and to look after each other, making sure people stick to what they said they would do and keeping their own word. Challenge yourself and see how long you can keep it up. By continuing to be on point for a long period of time, you will, for one, notice your results. But another thing that's as important is you will strengthen your mind. What are you consistent with now? How many of those things are positive for you and your growth? Of course, as you know, there are bad habits that you can be consistent with. Poor diet and exercise. Maybe you spend too much time on social media or binge watching and other things that are just a detriment to your health. But what's interesting is if you're consistent with those, then why can't you be consistent with other things? You know that it's in you to keep up with something, so why not reinforce your consistency through positive actions and thoughts? If you're consistent with simple actions such as diet and exercise, don't you feel an increased level of respect for yourself that you are able to keep up with it? Even if you're only starting to be consistent with something for a week, Weeks turn into months, turn into years. Starting is always the hardest part, and I think why people hesitate to do new things, especially things that are positive for you and for your health. Diet and exercise, for example, can definitely be an uphill battle when you're first starting because, of course, you're not used to it, and it's hard at first. But you gotta remember, everyone that looks the way they do, acts the way they do, they started from nothing. And you can't compare yourself to them to where they're at now. You can only look at yourself and look at your journey from where you started, where you want to be, and what you can be. Now is the time to start if you haven't already. The world is moving every second. And if you're not striving for a better life for yourself and the people around you who you care about, it can lead you back into bad habits which are so much harder to break the longer you're in that cycle. These small actions may not seem like much in the short term, but you're stacking successful actions on a daily basis. What you will find after keeping that high level of consistency is a strong dedication to yourself. Take pride in these small actions of consistency, whether you're just starting today or whether you've been keeping consistent for 10, 20, maybe most of your life. It is just as important to keep consistent after day one as it is after these long periods of time because although it gets easier to stay consistent once you do get started, keeping consistent after a long period of time will really test your dedication. Long-term consistency truly shapes who you are. You actively decided to do what is more difficult by keeping consistent, which strengthens your mind, body, and soul, which is crucial to your growth. You will become stronger, better and more connected to the universe and the people around you. Let me know down in the comments what aspects of your life are you 
consistent with and how long have you been able to hold that level of consistency. Also, anything that you wish to become more consistent with or hope to become more consistent with and what steps or actions you can take to get to that point. And as always, let me know where I should visit next down in the comments. My name is Jake Fox. This is Walk, Talk, Bike, and Hike, and I will see you in the next adventure.